Holy crap. Holy, go away. This was your fault. What happened? Babe, I, I was, I was, I'm carrying my knee pads. We're going out to record an episode about how to fall and I fell because Bowie got, Bo, okay, so there's a lip there and I was trying to step over the lip and then Bowie stepped in front of the lip so I obviously didn't want to kill him so then I fell and I scraped my knee and then I fell into the grass and now here I am. It's fine. Queer girl straight skates are dying. It's like rain on your filming day. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go learn how to fall. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. Today we're going to talk about falling. So we're going to talk about how we fall when we are skating outside. So you might be excited about skating outside, but you might be a little timid about what happens when you lose your balance or when you start to plummet and you feel like you are reaching your death. Well, let me tell you, it's not as bad as you think and let me show you how to deal with it. Today, we're not gonna necessarily go over derby falls because those are a lot more technical and I'm gonna put out another video about those later. Um, but this is more focused towards people who are just skating in the streets and they're going to fall down, you're going to fall down, I'm gonna fall down, I fell down right before I started making this video. <laughs> um, so this is just for people who are skating in the streets and end up falling. So the most important thing to remember when you are falling outdoors is the different parts of your body that you really don't want to fall onto. The first thing that you don't want to fall onto is you don't want to fall onto your wrist. Ah! <laughs> you, put your, you put your... I did it wrong. So I know your automatic go-to when you're falling might be to fall like this or even to fall like this and you definitely don't want to do that because your wrists are really precious and super breakable even with wrist guards on. The other part of the, your body that you definitely don't want to fall on is your butt. When you fall directly on your butt, and I'm not talking about the sides of your butt, I'm talking about the middle of your butt. When you fall in the middle of your butt, you're gonna hit your tailbone and trust me, hitting your tailbone sucks really bad. Oh, sh ow. <laughs> Is that on your butt? Yeah, that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and it knocks the wind out of you a lot of times, and it's one of those injuries that just seems to never go away. I have fallen quite a few times on my tailbone, if you cannot tell. Yeah. So let me show you right now some better ways to fall. The first type of falling is for people who are wearing knee pads. If you're wearing knee pads, your knee pads can be your go-to when you're falling because they're really going to protect you. So this fall is called a knee slide. Oh no, I'm falling. Oh, my knee pad just saved my life. So if you ever feel like you're falling and you have knee pads on, you can just drop onto that knee. The best thing that you can do is to get low because the lower you are, the easier it's gonna be for you to drop onto a knee and you don't want to put your hand down like I just did. Um, but when you're moving faster and you drop onto that knee, you're going to slide a little bit, and that's okay because your knee pads are going to protect you. I'm safe. That's not how to do it. So that's not the way to do a knee slide. And the reason why that is, is because I wasn't holding my center and so I spun around and lost control. You wanna hold your center tight because holding your center tight will make you able to actually land like this and not end up having to lean over and grab the ground or even spinning around ah! or falling backwards or losing balance and like falling to the side like that. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing a knee slide, you are not uh, protecting yourself with your wrists. If anything, hold your hands like this and that you're keeping your core really tight. If you're going really fast and you're falling and you're worried about completely eating it, but you try and do a knee, pat, knee tap, you can use your knee tap to actually push you right back up to continue skating. Let me show you. It's less of a knee slide and more of a knee tap. Whoa, that was like magic. 
Yes. So knee taps are awesome because they help you like, ah, oh, I got back up. And the way I'm doing that is through holding my core tight and continuing to pull myself back up. So I'm going, I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna fall. Oh, just kidding, I got it, I'm good. The next type of fall that you can do with the knee pads on is a rock star fall. And this is falling not just on one knee, but falling on two knees. And it's one right after another. And the reason why it's called a rock star fall is because at the end, you look like a rock star. I'll show you right now. Rock star. So if you notice, one knee went down, the other one fell immediately following, and it went into this split, and it stops you by you sliding on your knees to this point. The most important thing about a rock star fall is that you don't fall on both knees at the same time. It may seem like you're falling on them at the same time, but really you're falling on one and then the next one immediately following each other. So falling on both your knees at the same time can be very, very damaging on your knees and you don't wanna do that even if you're wearing thick padded knee pads like the ones I'm wearing right now. One, two. There are going to be times when you either don't have your knee pads on or perhaps you're waiting for your knee pads to come in from planetrollerskate.shop and so you'll be out roller skating and you won't have protection on your knees. Now, you might fall while you are in such a circumstance. And so you should remember these few tips. The first thing is that you wanna avoid falling on your knees. Falling on your knees without your knee pads is very painful and can really lead to further damage down the road and is not fun overall. You also wanna take the same advice as the other falls that you had with your knee pads on, and you don't want to fall on your wrists or your arms because your wrists and arms are more likely to break and get very injured easier. So you're going to try and fall on the side of your body. So you wanna try and throw yourself onto your side if you're falling, whether it's the side of your leg or the side of your body or the side of your arm, because that has the most enjoyable squish and is the least painful part to fall on. So let me demonstrate for you. I fell, but I didn't hurt my knees and I didn't hurt my wrists. I just fell on this part of my side. And yeah, there's a little bit of rash there, but I'll survive, rash is fine. Also, it gives me cool street cred. I don't know why I wore shorts for a falling video, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> it's funny because it's so slow. Like, I was who thinking, falls that slow? Nobody. I was thinking, I was like, uh, I mean, no, but when you're new, you're not going that fast. You're path. always falling because you're going so slow. Yeah. It's realistic, people. This is not a setup. I'm just falling naturally right now. No. Ah! <laughs> I'm safe. Exactly. See, how did that feel falling like that? It honestly didn't hurt at all. Exactly. <laughs> I just hit this part. Yeah. And this part's like fatty. Protect that's, me, thunder thighs. I have so much like road rash on that thigh because that's how I naturally fall. Okay, let me try one more time. Oh! If you feel yourself falling, one thing that you can do to recover yourself from falling before you go into the falling, any falling options that we've given you, is you can just go and bend your knees a whole lot more. So if you're like, ah, I'm falling, like, oh no, bend down into that squat. And the more you bend into the squat, the more it's going to stabilize yourself. So you could be like, like falling, like, oh crap. I bent down, now I am safe. And then, even if you don't catch yourself, so like, oh, I'm, fall I'm falling, oh, I'm bending. It's way better to fall from that lower point than it is to fall from all the way up here. It's gonna hurt less, and it's gonna be way better to get back up after you're done falling. Imagine like if you were holding Bowie. I think it's really important to save my dog. So if I'm like falling, I'm nervous, 
then I, I'm gonna make sure my hands are out here holding my dog and pretending that I need to really make sure that he's safe in the midst of this falling down nonsense. So if I'm like, ah, put your hands out in front of you. I'm holding my Bowie. I have him safe. And even if I fall, I still have to make sure I have Bowie safe right in here. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, come right over here. See, he's safe. You safe? Yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of Queer Girl Street Skates. I hope you enjoyed learning how to fall and watching me fall all over the place today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and throw in the comments other things that you wanna learn how to do. And for all your roller skating needs, from helmet to toe stop, go to planetrollerskate.shop. Stay safe, stay healthy out there. I'll see you next time. Later, skaters. Wow, ah! oh, there's a wall there I can't spin because I was running into the wall. That's fine. Mm, bye.